Welcome to my first ever what I eat in a week. It wouldn't be a Monday without a cup of coffee. So I first made myself an iced latte with my Nespresso and an iced Ligero pod. I'm probably saying that wrong. I poured that over some ice and topped it with some chocolate almond milk for a nice iced mocha. It was so good. And then for breakfast, I made my favorite apple cinnamon smoothie. All you need is a whole apple, about a half cup of oats, a lot of cinnamon, and you could totally end it there and just blend it up. But today I was feeling extra fun. So I added peanut butter, frozen spinach and collagen, and I blended it all with some almond milk. For lunch, I air fried some chicken and tried out these buffalo chicken tacos. I just used some gluten-free corn tortillas that I microwaved for just like 30 seconds. And I added lettuce, shredded carrots, and banana peppers. And then I topped it with some Greek yogurt that I mixed with ranch seasoning. I used too much buffalo sauce. <sighs> spicy, but so good. Oh, but so spicy. My snack may seem a little weird, but I've always thought that oranges and chocolate kind of go together. I had these weird orange, it's like chocolate covered orange candies as a kid. Did anyone else have those? But ever since I've loved oranges and chocolate, it's just a thing. But lastly for dinner, we air fried some more chicken. And then when the chicken was about half cooked, we topped it in our favorite Mike's Hot Honey. So delicious. And then cooked some Brussels in balsamic dressing and lemon. Ended up adding a tiny bit of honey over the cooked chicken and it got all melty and gooey and it was really, really good. And since it was Monday and we did that, you know, we, we accomplished the day. We celebrated with a little bit of wine and two of the immaculate gluten-free chocolate chip cookies each. On Tuesday, I started the day with a hot peppermint mocha. The full details for this are in my last morning routine that I'll link below. And I had another apple cinnamon smoothie, except this time I used water instead of milk. Now it was not as creamy, but still very filling and very delicious. For lunch, I did another round of tacos, but this time I used some ground turkey that we meal prepped a few nights before and topped them with some shredded cheese, plain Greek yogurt, and verde salsa. For a snack, I had this raspberry tea with a little bit of almond milk. I didn't share the brand or anything because it was not very good, honestly. I will try and find a better one for the next What I Eat in a Week video, but I also had some kettle corn for a snack. On to dinner, Noah was craving his mom's summer Italian pasta, so he decided he wanted to make it. We boiled our bonza rotini pasta. This is a great pasta alternative made from chickpeas with 23 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber per serving, and it's gluten-free, but after it's boiled, it will have this weird film, but don't worry, you just rinse it off and it's perfect, tastes like regular pasta and it's delicious. But Noah cut up some summer sausage and pepperoni and added that into the pasta with some banana peppers and for the sauce all you need are, is some salad supreme seasoning and Italian dressing. Mix that all together and you're done and we had it for dinner that night with a big salad on the side. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, I had a plain oat milk latte and for breakfast, tried my hand at nice cream. You blend on low a frozen banana, some peanut butter. I added chocolate protein because I wanted it to be chocolate and because I had just gotten back for the, from the gym and a splash of milk. I would probably make more next time because it didn't make a ton, but I topped it with oats and cinnamon and it actually tasted like ice cream and was so good. For lunch, I had pasta leftovers and they were even better the next day. And I made a large green smoothie with frozen spinach, celery, and oranges. It was not the best tasting, not at all, but I drank it anyways. <laughs> Unfortunately, Noah had to work late this evening, so he brought home our favorite red poke. I'm probably saying that word wrong, totally fine. Either way, it was so delicious. One of our go-to easy meals when we're eating out, and I will put my order on the screen. Thursday, I switched it up and made a nice Earl Grey tea, one of my favorite teas, and I used our frother to froth the Chobani extra creamy oat milk that everyone recommended. Poured that in and scooped the foam on top. It was so creamy and dreamy and delicious.
for breakfast, I went in for some oatmeal and cooked it with some frozen blueberries and peanut butter. Now, I probably would not use the frozen blueberries again because it made it sort of watery and not the most appetizing looking, but they did still taste pretty good. The blueberries and peanut butter kind of tasted like a PB&J. For lunch, I air fried some garbanzo beans while we really do get a lot of good use out of that air fryer. With a lot less buffalo sauce and some garlic, I started out on 400 degrees for five minutes, but then ended up doing another five minutes. Put them on top of a big bed of lettuce and some shredded carrots, added more of that ranch Greek yogurt dip, and honestly, it was so good, we'll absolutely do this again. Snack today was just some carrots and Bombay bitchin' sauce, incredible combo, just try it. And then for dinner, I cooked some asparagus and some balsamic dressing, and then, you guessed it, air fried some more chicken and some lemon pepper seasoning. Added some leftover rice for Noah's, but I just wasn't as hungry. On Friday, I had another Earl Grey tea latte, but was too lazy to froth it this day. I had another apple cinnamon smoothie, I'm sorry. But then for lunch, I actually made some eggs, so I changed it up a little bit. Basically a second breakfast, and I scrambled two of them with some green pepper and leftover salami. All right guys, we're making our typical, we do this every week, our hibachi. We've got the Terry Ho's yum yum sauce from Target, gluten free. I usually over pour, ooh, just right. That was a good pour. Uh -huh. And of course, we ended our Friday with two more cookies and another glass of wine. On Sunday, I woke up and Noah had cooked me breakfast. His eggs are so much better than mine. And the coffee he made me, an oat milk latte, so delicious and beautiful. Like the presentation, 10 out of 10. And for lunch, we finally got to leave the house. I sometimes forget I live in New York City. We went to our favorite Bua Thai because they are very gluten-free friendly. We started with the fried tofu and then I had a Thai tea with coconut milk. And for our, no for our meals, Noah had the green curry and I had the Penang curry, my favorite meal on the planet and it comes with so much that we even ate our leftovers for dinner. Sunday I somehow became barista of the year and made the creamiest coffees for Noah and I. It's the ice Ligero pods poured over ice and then I just poured in the chocolate milk. I did not froth it and then I frothed just a splash of the extra extra creamy oat milk to pour on top made my day it was so good we actually woke up late because it was sunday so we went straight to lunch and we just put a bunch of our leftovers together we do this often we topped that with some air fried chicken that we cooked with the vegan chickenless seasoning which i have now realized is my new favorite seasoning it's so good later that day we took a walk through central park and tried out the new pistachio latte from starbucks but decaf i thought it was all right but noah really liked it while we were there we did happen to see a really sweet proposal from far away Look what we found. I've wanted to try this for like literally years, right Noah? Mm -hmm. And we happened to notice it was gluten free, so. Is this a Shark Tank thing? I think it was. If, if, if it wasn't, if this was on Shark Tank, another brand was. Mm. It's good. It's actually just cookie dough. Dang, girl, Mmm. Mmm. It's got oatmeal in it, so it's like, it's got fiber, so it's kind of healthy. I kind of want to bake it now. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can. Eat it, don't bake it. We ended the night with tacos because it was Sunday. And I really hope you enjoyed this, what I eat in a week. Let me know if I should do it again. If so, I will promise to find new meals and not just air fried chicken the whole week. I promise. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.